Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I post videos every single Thursday giving you guys the best tips and tools for being more effective in your practice sessions and helping you achieve your musical goals. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Guys, as promised, I'm back with another jazz video. And if you're new to my channel, I have a series on here where I guide you guys through this book, The Jazz Piano Book by Mark Levine. And if you guys want to follow along with or without the book, I'll be linking the rest of the series along with this book in the description box below. Last week we covered miscellaneous left hand chords from our favorite 275717 progression. So if you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked up here. But in this video, I'm going to be giving you a few exercises to practice just the 5 7 chord from the 275717 progression in the left hand. And the reason is some miscellaneous chords can be harder to spot than others. And turns out the 5 7 chord is the hardest to spot of them all, which is why we're practicing it. So let's get into the video so I can show you some of these exercises. All right, so for the first two exercises, we're going to be taking our two different 5 7 chords and playing them through the cycle of fifths. The first type of 5-7 chord is, and the second type of 5-7 chord is, if you have no idea what I'm talking about or need a refresher, you can watch the video right here. In case you forgot, the cycle of fifths goes like this. So let's take the first chord. An easier way to think of this is a perfect fourth and a major third separated by a minor second. Of course, you can play it with the left hand in the bass or without. Totally your choice, but I'll show you both. Unfortunately, there is no trick to this and you just have to practice it until your hand gets comfortable knowing where it's going next. Now let's do the same thing with the other 5-7 chord. And the easiest way to think of this chord is a major third and a perfect fourth, one whole tone apart. And of course you can play it with the left hand or without the left hand. And just a reminder that you won't actually be playing the left hand in the bass when you're playing an actual song. This is just a practice hearing the bass for now. Next, we're gonna be alternating between the two different types of five seven chords. Let's start with this one that has the third on the bottom and go to the one with the seventh on the bottom. The bass notes are gonna descend chromatically and the top voice is gonna descend by whole tones playing each note twice. Again, you can play these with or without the left hand. do the opposite, playing the chord with the seventh on the bottom, going to the chord with the third on the bottom. For this one as well, the bass line is descending chromatically. And the top line follows a similar pattern as before, but it starts with a descending note instead of repeating. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'll be linking this book and the rest of the series in the description box if you want to follow along. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to watch some more of my videos, you can do that right here. Bye, guys.